Welcome to another video. So let's solve this integral and we'll be doing, well, we'll try to simplify it because remember, whatever makes your integral look complicated is what you should make you. So at this point, I don't think it is smart for me to make x my u for the u substitution. I think I'm going to make the log of x u. And that would work because I've tried it. And that's just a general advice. Whenever you see a complicated expression like this and you don't know how to integrate, just try and simplify it doing a u substitution. You never know what comes out of it. But I know. Let's get into it. Just to make things a little easier, I'm going to change the notation from log to natural log. So I'll just write ln because it's easier for me to deal with. And secondly, um, I'm going to rewrite this expression so that this x will be very close to dx because I know the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x and it's going to be multiplying dx. Let me show you what I mean. So I have, I'm going to say, let u be equal to the log of x. Okay, but I'm going to write ln x now. Okay? So, what is du? du is going to be 1 over x dx. So that's the reason I would like to rewrite this expression so that 1 over x is sitting right here and I can easily replace it with du. Secondly, let's do our evaluation. We know that if you evaluate u at the point where x equals e, you're going to get this to be 1 because it's going to be the natural log of e and the natural log of e is 1. But if you do evaluate u at e to the e, to the e your answer is going to be e, okay? Because you're going to have the natural log of e to the e, which is e ln e, and we know ln e is always 1, so you have e left. So this is what I need to do this integration. I've done all the substitutions and all the evaluations so that when I rewrite this expression, let's get rid of this. I'm going to have a different boundary. I'll have different boundaries and I'm going to have a different expression. So look at this. Let's say I rewrote this and I wrote it this way, the integral from e to e to the e, and I have ln x times ln of ln x, like that. Then I multiplied it by 1 over x dx. So this is the rewritten form of this. I have not done any u substitution, but because of this box, the content of this box that I've shown you, I can now rewrite this integral and say that this is equal to the integral when it was e it became 1 and this became e and now this is going to be this is u this is um, ln u okay and now I know that 1 over x dx is right here I'm going to replace it with du and basically this is what I am I'll be integrating which just by looking at it you know it's going to be integration by parts because you have an algebraic expression and you have a natural log expression. Always the easy part. How do we do this? Well, let's do our di table. I'm going to differentiate and integrate. We always differentiate the natural log function. So I have ln of u and I integrate u. And I do my plus, minus, plus. Well, if we differentiate natural log of u, what do we get? We get 1 over u. If we integrate u, what do we get? We get half u squared. So it's going to be 1 half of u squared. And that's where you stop. How do I know I'm supposed to stop? Because if I multiply this by this, I'm going to get a polynomial, and I know how to integrate polynomials, so I don't need to keep going. The integral from 1 to e of u, ln of u du, is equal to this times this, which is going to be 1 half of u squared ln of u. Because this is an answer already, I can evaluate from 
1 to e, and then I multiply this way, it's going to be minus the integral of this product. If I multiply this by this, it's going to be 1 half of u. I can put that 1 half here, and I can write my u here, du. But I know how to integrate this. Okay, this is going to be 1 half of u squared again, and I can pull the 1 half out, it becomes 1 over 4. So I have 1 to e. So I can say this is equal to 1 half of u squared ln u evaluated from 1 to e minus 1 over 4 of u squared evaluated from 1 to e. This is going to be equal to, oh, 1 half of e squared ln e. But e, ln e is 1, so it's just e squared. Nice. Minus, let's do the 1, 1 half of 1 squared times ln 1, but ln 1 is 0, and 0 times anything is 0, so I'm just going to stop here. Good. Minus. Ah. I don't need to put a minus, a parenthesis, because we figure this out. Let's go. One half, I mean one quarter of, this is one fourth of e squared, if I put a minus, one over four of e squared, and then it would be minus one over four, just one over four. Okay, one half e squared minus 1 over 4 e squared plus 1 over 4. That's it. It looks like our answer is just 1 fourth of e squared plus 1. That's what we get. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.